Hi everyone, Eli again with another in the series of uh, uh, videos on the Dwarven Forge Royal Stronghold. Um, this is the biggest of the pre-configured sets from the Dwarven Forge Castle Kickstarter. And what we have here is a completely constructed Royal Stronghold. Um, I built it over the course of the previous videos. And now what I'm going to do is just uh, talk a little bit about a, a couple other details. Um, the first thing you might notice is, although it's built, I've still got a few pieces sitting around here. I just wanted to explain what those extra bits are for. Um, so first of all are um, these uh, tower roof platforms. And basically what these do is they fit on top of your tower. Let's just remove one of our uh, tower tops here. Um, you don't actually need them to support the battlements that come with the tower. But we included them as an option for those who got the, um, the large uh, crenellation pieces, which would fit on these. Um, that's for a somewhat uh, more compact tower top, and it just gives you more options. So um, these are just basically a, a freebie. It gives you some flexibility. You've got one for each tower. Um, another thing you have is uh, four of each of these uh, two inch and uh, inch and a half wide wall pieces with uh, little magnets and, and uh, metal. And, and these are basically uh, useful little freestanding walls. You can create uh, small dungeon sections, you know, say you want to you want to have a little uh, prison or a stable area within your within your keep, you can do that. But what they're specifically for is um, filling in the corners of your corner cutout walls that are inside the towers when you remove a tower. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more about that in just a moment. Um, the other thing you'll notice is there's you've got a few extra wall pieces. These are um, uh, for these uh, quarter arrow slit walls that, that go with the six inch towers. And again, that's just to give you a few more options. Uh, there's several different ways you can build your towers. And say you want a few more arrow slits versus the uh, solid walls, that lets you do that. Um, for example, if you, if you don't want the, uh, the uh, LED torch wall, if you want something that's a bit more defensive, less decorative, you could replace uh, those with, with this. Um, now what I'm going to demonstrate is what you can do if you want to, say you want to break out one of these towers. You just want to, you don't want the whole castle for a particular adventure, you just want a freestanding tower. That's really easy to do with the Royal Stronghold. Um, so uh, as an example, we'll just take this particular tower right here. Um, all you're going to do is lift it up just slightly and slide it away. And you pretty much already have a freestanding tower. I'm just going to get it off of this, uh, this little bit of a uh, three-quarter platform because we don't need that. All right, so you've mostly got a free tower here, but um, obviously it's got a bit of a hole in it. So for simplicity's sake, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it down a level. Um, so we'll pop that off of there, and we'll get rid of this bottom prison level, which has no doors in it. Okay, now uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is remove this door wall right here, which we can just pop right off of here, like so. And that very conveniently, um, let's see... We'll just we'll steal a floor extension from from that piece we removed. We pop that in there, and we can add a add our door wall on the base level where you'd expect it to be. And then we'll grab one of these extra arrow slit walls, pop that in there, and right there you have a nice uh, freestanding tower ready for ready for an adventure. Obviously, um, with all the pieces in the Royal Stronghold, you could have one really whopper tower, um, probably be about four feet tall or you can have a couple of them because we've got the, the uh, two of the single door walls. Um, and once you've removed that, um, you might need a few pieces here and there to tinker with your, with your um, stronghold, but one thing you can do in this corner, um, we can remove these couple crenellation pieces. Uh, let's say we just, we change the configuration of the keep, so we remove that upper part, and instead we'll put, uh, Put a couple corner, a corner and a couple around there. A couple of these here. All right, so now we've got an intact corner. And then this bit right in here, we're going to fill in with our handy little magnetic walls. So we'll uh, attach our magnet to our steel side. Actually, we'll put it, yeah. And these can slide right in here and complete that corner. So now we have, um, we still have a full, a full castle. Um, it's got three towers and it's got one smaller corner and we have a freestanding tower that can go somewhere nearby. So that just um, expands your options for, for what you can do um, with the basic set. Um, 
As we know, Dwarven Forge collectors tend to be very creative, and I'm sure we'll be seeing all sorts of fun variations on this, but I just wanted to start you out with a couple of the most, most basic uh, tweaks you can make to the, to the design, depending on what your adventures require. So, there you have it.